Now let's look at a problem dealing with a lottery game. A lottery game is set up so that each player chooses six different numbers from 1 to 15. If the six numbers match the six numbers drawn in the lottery, the player wins or shares the top cash prize. What is the probability of winning the prize with 50 different lottery tickets? We're going to have a fraction where the numerator will give us the number of ways to win, and the denominator will be the number of ways to choose. Since the player is going to have 50 different lottery tickets, there will be 50 different ways to win. To determine the number of ways to choose, we have to look back at the criteria for the game. That is, we have to choose six different numbers from 1 to 15. The order in which we choose the numbers does not matter, so it's going to be a combination of 15 taken six at a time. Now let's figure out that value. We're going to have a combination of 15 taken six at a time. That can be evaluated as 15 factorial, divided by 6 factorial times 9 factorial. Continuing on, we'll have 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial. And we're going to divide that by 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 9 factorial. Our 9 factorial will divide out. Next, we can see that if we take the 5 and the 3, those combine to give us 15, so we're going to divide out our common factor of 15. Notice that if we take the 6 and the 2, that gives us 12, we can divide out the 12. And next, we notice that if we divide 4 by 2 and 14 by 2, and we divide 2 into 10, we come up with, taking everything that hasn't been canceled out, 7 times 13 times 11 times 5 divided by 1. Now, let's take that value back to the problem that we started with, and we're going to rewrite this as 50 divided by 7 times 13 times 11 times 5. The reason I didn't multiply out is that I can now see easily that I have a common factor of 5 between numerator and denominator. Let's divide, and that's going to give us our value of 10 in the numerator divided by 1,001 in the denominator. And we could approximate that. It's very close to 0.01 if we go to decimal format.